All right, so now we are into some of the problems. So the first one here says the rate at which an assembly line worker is learning a new skill can be represented by S of T, percentage points per hour, where T is the time the worker has spent on task. Now, what does the area of the region between the graph of S and the T axis represent? And then B, what are the units of measure of the height and width of a region in part A? And two, the area of the region between the graph of S and the T axis. Well, so let's think about this. So what we have to do, area of the region between the graph of S and the T axis. So we don't know what the graph is. Let's call it maybe, you know, we have some function that looks like that. And so what we're looking at is this area within here. So it's between, and we're only start at zero because we can't have negative hours that we worked. And so we're going to start there. And so this is the area it's going to be. Well, that area represents the change in the percent, oops, change in the percent of, and it's a skill, so of uh, skills learned um, after T hours. Okay, so, you know, it's the learning a new skill can be represented by that many percentage points. So it's going to be the percentage of uh, the skills that are learned after T hours is what that uh, region between the graph and our T axis. Now, what is the height and width of the region of part A? Well, B for I, <clears throat> we have the height is going to be what? Well, that's going to be the units of this. So that's going to be percentage points per hour. Okay, and so our width is time. So that's going to be time in hours. Okay, and so then two, the region of the between the graph of S and the T axis, what are those units? Well, we're basically going to have to multiply those together. And so it's going to be uh, our percent per hour times hour. And so that's going to just give us our percentage points. Okay. So it's percentage points. And so percentage points there, the hours cancel and all that's left is percent, uh, percentage points. Okay. So those are the different things. So it's again, we have to know what our axes are. So that was T is equal to hours. And that was our S of T is equal to percentage points per Hour. Again, that's just based, uh, uh, based on what we're given. All right. What about the next one here? We have Girl Scout cookies. So the marginal revenue, rate of change of revenue with respect to the quantity sold from a council sale of Girl Scout cookies is shown in the figure below. So we have this figure here. So it looks like we have basically just a straight line um, just going across at the four. And at, so it's basically a height of four and it's going up to the 3.95. So what are the units of measure of height, width, and area of the region between the marginal revenue graph and the horizontal axis from zero to 3.95? Okay, well, it's going to work pretty much the same way as the last one, where height is going to be equal to what? Well, height is in dollars per box. And then we have our width. Well, our width is in million boxes. And if we take and find the area, we're going to take, you know, the height times the width. So area is going to be the height times the width. And so that's going to be dollars per box times million boxes. And that's basically over one. So the box part canceled. We still have that million. And so this is going to be in million dollars. Okay. And so that's going to be our area for uh, the, the box here, the rectangle. Um, so now we're supposed to calculate the area of the region between the marginal revenue graph and the horizontal axis, write a sentence of interpretation. Okay, well, B, we're just going to find area is equal to, well, our height is 4, our width is 0 to 3.95, well, that's going to be 3.95, 
And if we multiply those together, what do we get? Well, if I plugged at my calculator, it looks like I get 15.8 million dollars. Okay, so what does that say? Well, the revenue uh, from a council sale of Girl Scout cookies And we'll abbreviate Girl Scouts as GS cookies. Uh, what was it of sale of? Well, actually, we should say of how many cookies there were. There were 3.95 million. We should put that in there because that's a specific. We went up to the 3.95 million cookies uh, or boxes of cookies. 3 million boxes, I should say, of cookies uh, is. How much did we just calculate? $15.8 million. Okay. So again, we forgot to include that uh, number of cookies there were. So we sold 3.95 million boxes of Girl Scout cookies and that gave us a revenue of $15.8 million. All right, so what about the next one? Calculate the area of the region between the marginal revenue graph and the horizontal axis between three and 3.95. So now we're just looking at this region here. So we're just looking here. The first one, we looked at that whole area. All right, so we'll see area is going to be equal to four again times. Now we're going to take 3.95. Oops, not a parenthesis. We need a minus. Minus three. And if we plug that into our calculator, we get 3.8 million dollars. Okay. So what's that one going to be? Well, it's going to start again the same. Uh, the revenue from a council sale of uh, Girl Scout cookies. But this time, we're not going to say it's going to be the how many million boxes we sold. Uh, we're, we're going to kind of rephrase it a little bit. So we're going to say the revenue from a council's uh, sale of Girl Scout cookies. Uh, increased by, now we had $3.8 million uh, as the number of boxes increased uh, from, and we went from 3 to 3.95 million. Okay, so a slightly different way here. So when we have the whole region, basically we know we have sold the total amount. And so we're just kind of getting the whole uh, revenue, the total revenue. But here we're saying, okay, well, the revenue increased by this much because you know up to three, we could get a value and say, okay, well, the revenue is that much. And then if we went ahead and said, okay, well, let's sell another 0.95 million boxes. What does that do? Well, that increased your revenue by $3.8 million when you increased the number of sales from three to 3.95 million. Okay. All right. So let's pause there and we'll come back for more.